how to create emission from some part of our base color map. Let's see. I'm using this game machine from freepeak.com. It's a free model and the link is in the description. Now we are in Blender. Let's import our model. Go to file, import FX. And let's add this. Actually, let's delete this keyframes, press A and delete. And we don't need this area, right click, join here. All right, let's scale this up and apply the scale by pressing Ctrl A and it's scale. All right, and then I'm gonna increase the polygons from main object and the buttons. So select main object, press Ctrl 2 and go to modifiers and apply. And for the buttons, Ctrl 2 and hit apply. Now I'm gonna separate this LED screen part from the main object. Select the model, go to edit mode by pressing tab, press 3 for polygons, and put this on select box. And select these polys. All right. And press Ctrl plus to increase the polygons like this and press p and hit selection to separate this part all right now this part is separated now um, let's put this in another collection press m new collection and call this led and rename this to glass all right so this model is already unwrapped. If you go to UV editing and press all, you can see it's already unwrapped. But about this screen, I want to increase the size of this UV. So to do that, select this glass, press tab, select the island and increasing the size by pressing S and G to move the island. So I'm going to put this right here. All right, let's go to layout. The next thing I'm going to do is add a thickness to this. But before that, let's flatten this um, polys. Go to edit mode, press 1, A, S, Y and 0 to flatten these polys, all right? And then go to modifiers and select solidify to add the thickness, but this is too much. Press 0.001, all right? And make a copy by pressing Shift D, I'll put it right here, and we don't need this solidify modifier. All right, and call this main LED. All right, and then make another copy and put it behind this. And I can call this um, back LED maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna add this to make another effect to our LED. You can see this in a moment, okay. So, how to add our texture and make some part of it glow and add emission to this. Let's go to our shading and let's have this to put this on 3D view. All right. So I have two um, textures, one, is our main um, picture which I'm gonna make emission to this and the next is our mask which is a black and white image so let's add this to our model select the main LED for the slash to isolate and I'm gonna add a new material press shift a 
search for image texture and open and add our main image and plug this to our base color also put the render engine to cycle so as you can see here we have our image but we want to make it glow this text part i want to emit the light so if i go to emission put the color to white and increase the emission as you can see all the polygons all the shape gonna glow the light but we don't know we don't want that so let's put this on zero so what we are going to do is add a emission here add the image texture here and also a mix shader so add the main um, shader to the first shader the emission to the second shader also this is going to put on our mask here so insert the mask and put this on factor and add this to the output now as you can see we have separated our emission so put this on something like green color and put this on 50 and here we go we have our emission so actually this is the main um, solution for this this is your main material this is your emission and this is your mask all right now i'm gonna set up the scene by putting lights camera and adding basic materials so i made a basic setup for the base shape i made a basic material a blue one with a roughness map actually this roughness map comes from polygon.com this is a smudges which is free and i will put the link in the description for this glass part actually we are going to add a glass material press new increase the transmission to one and let's see and increase the transmission roughness to something about 0.15 to make it a little blurry now i'm gonna work on the back led so select the back led and the main led and press forward slash to make it isolated and let's select the back led and it actually away from our main LED I want to make it transparent and separate it from the uh, main object so to do that select the main LED and as you remember we have our mask here so I'm gonna put this mask also to the alpha so let's go down here um, also actually it have to be on a non-color so I'm gonna add this to the alpha so now we are uh, masking our uh, main LED and the result is we are going to see only the text all right so let's select main LED and isolate that by pressing forward slash twice and let's add the material for this same thing as we did for the main led let's add our main shape actually main image this one plug to base color and let's add also image texture for our mask let's add our mask here also emission search for emission and the mix shader 
All right, let's put this main material to the shader one, emission to the shader two, and the mask to our factor. And this is non color. And add these to our output. So uh, this is what we have done before. Let's put the color to the green, the emission to 10. Now let's go back by pressing forward slash and this is the result. We have a glass on top which gives us a blurriness. We have the main LED only has our text and the back LED which gives us this faded light on the background so also for the glass part i'm gonna add a roughness map by adding image texture fingerprint and variation one plug this to the roughness and put this on non-color also this is another free uh, product from polygon.com and also the link is in the description so that's it also i think this is a little too much let's add the math and put this on multiply and the value on 0.3 so that's pretty much it let's uh, compare this to main material with and without emission this is without emission this is main led and this is without emission also if we turn off the glass as you can see this is not so bright and if i turn on the main led by our emission shader this is the result also with background okay and let's turn on the glass and make it a little blurry and also with the fingerprint roughness map so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one